All right, we're gonna sign in really quick to our vulture and we're gonna notice right away that when we're logged in up at the top right we can click on deploy new server and now I'm going to select Seattle scroll down click on Ubuntu do 18.10 it's the latest version now Passbolt requires a, a typically uh, typically two cores and two gigs of RAM so let's go with this here since this has a, a two CPU and for the name of the server, we're just going to do passbolt.r4p3.net. And we can deploy now. We're going to notice that right away, the server will begin installing. We're going to give it just a little bit of time, and I will resume back when it's ready to go. Okay, so now right away, we are going to use our putty to connect in so go ahead and just copy your server's IP address and paste it in click open and we're gonna say yes we want to accept and now we need to type root root enter copy our password and just right click in hit enter it's gonna log us in from here let's just do an apt update and then type apt upgrade space hyphen y and i'm just gonna let this uh, run and I'll, I'll be right back perfect now just to make sure we're gonna paste this in and it says that this is already enabled but anyway let's just do an update anyway you know as long as we have universe i think we're good to go yeah so i mean we do have cosmic universe we don't we don't need anything else, so that's good. Now we need to download and execute the installation script. So we're going to do this like that. Perfect. Now we're going to get the checksum like that. And now we're going to use the SHA-512 sum, and it says OK, so that's good news. Now we're going to extract that tar, and we can run the installer. So now the first thing we're going to say is, uh, do you want to install a local MariaDB server? We're going to say yes. MariaDB root is going to just be uh, killerman123 killer man one two three passport database username it's going to be james james uh user password is going to be james james one james james one uh passport database name is going to be james james uh yes wait on virtualized environments new GPG happened to find out enough to generate a key, therefore password will not run properly. Do you want to install, have it just speed up and... Yes. Yes, we do. So then the host name we're going to be using is passbolt.r4p3.net Setting up SSL. Do you want to set up SSL certificate enable HTTPS? If we do auto, it's going to issue a Let's Encrypt. We're going to just do auto. Enter an uh, email address to register with, with Let's Encrypt. Let's do, um, I, I'm just going to type in, I'm going to type in an email. And I'm going to have to blur that out. So eventually when this is all finished, we're going to be able to load the website where this is all it's going to be set up at but in order to get this set up we actually need to use cloudflare and point to this ip address by setting up an a record for passbolt so i'm going to do that part now perfect so here is our link it's telling us to go to so we should be able to access this and it says passport is not configured yet. If you see this page, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go with the configuration wizard and it's going to say SSL access is not enabled. You can still proceed, but it is highly recommended that you configure your web server to use HTTPS before you continue. So we're gonna just go ahead with the start configuration and the host, it's just localhost. 
And the username we picked earlier was James, James, and I, I don't, I don't know, GPG key, I guess. So next. So I'm actually going to use SendGrid in this case. Uh, you can use whatever you want, and then we're going to just click on Start. SMTP relay on the next page. It's going to show you the option to create an API key create your API key And we're going to go back over here and the sender name is simply going to be um, It's just going to be r4p3 pass bolt center email is going to be admin at r4p3.net our SMTP host is going to be the server that SendGrid uses uh, for TLS we're going to have yes and if we want, we'll, we'll just say, um, we'll say, yeah, 587 is the TLS. For the username, we'll do API key. And for the password, I'll just throw in my API key. Just copy and paste your API key in. Click next. Perfect. Uh, allow public registration, no, force SSL. We're gonna just say no. Um, it is highly recommended that you do so. Um, but we'll, we'll, we can always go and set this up later. The most important thing is we do have Cloudflare pointed, so we do have the uh, the client side protection. So the admin username uh, is just going to be Jim uh, Killa, right? And then this is just going to be admin at. Wait, what? What is this? Um, so yeah, admin at r4p3.net. Next. So it's going to install this. It's, it'll show us that it's all successful and it'll continue on. So then we can uh, we can download the Mozilla Firefox or Chrome or whatever extension, which is what we will be doing. So we're just going to select download here. Now, since we've downloaded it and added it to our browser up here, we're going to click on retry and that's passed. So our domain, our server key, and it's saying that you're, you're about to register the plugin to work with this domain. And we're just gonna confirm that the domain is uh, managed by an organization we trust, which is true. And we're gonna say, I've checked that the domain name and the server key look legitimate. Um, so yeah, I mean, here's all this stuff, it looks good to me. We're gonna do a next. And from there, we're gonna add a comment here, I guess. Um, and that's just gonna be jkilla, Next, and the passphrase can be wild west, and then an uppercase character, a number, and a special character. So we're gonna say wild west s one pound. From there, we're gonna make a backup. Just click on download. We're gonna next to this. So security token. I don't know. Just say like as i guess next setup is complete from there we into our master password fuck me mate i literally sat there fucking off with everything in the world to try to make this shit work right and it turns out wild west s1 boom that apparently works it turns out it had something <laughs> to do with firefox and safe mode so if you want Passbolt to work, whatever browser you're using, I recommend not being in um in like private mode or safe mode, whatever the fuck you want to call that. And so from here, I can create, I can name this like Gmail, HTTPS, gmail.com, lava, lava, fire at gmail.com, password, lol, fuck you, description, lol, not fuck. So, and then we can um, we can see this, or we could generate one. There, save that. Boom. Now we have a password. From here, we can copy the password, and then it says you need to enter your passphrase to continue. That's going to be wild west s one pound. Okay. There we go. We copied it. What if we click it again? Boom, you gotta do that. So we can remember our passphrase until I log out. I mean, it's probably not the safest option, but boom. So now if I just wanted to keep copying the password, I could do that or I copy the username, whatever. Um, pretty awesome. And what I love the most probably is that it's really easy to just share with an email or, or just someone. And ultimately what it comes down to is that this shit just works, it works well. Only issue is that with this being the community version, I would be semi-concerned with 
Um, I, I would just be semi-concerned, I guess, with this not working on smartphones. So if you're trying to access this type of content or this material on a smartphone, a mobile device, you're really best off using uh, like Google Chrome or Firefox on a desktop machine. So don't get me wrong, it's amazing it, and it works very well just probably not the most mobile friendly option and that's where syspass comes in and we'll we'll go ahead and review that